Good morning everybody. I am so glad to be able to visit with you today. This is Pastor David, pastor of the Community Church of Mount Pleasant. It is March 14th and it's a great day to be able to come visit with you. Thanks for visiting with us. Wherever you are, if you're at your home or in your office or wherever you may be, uh, thanks for taking the time to come visit us. I appreciate this opportunity. I appreciate my friend Ken coming and taking his time to help us. But uh, we, we just want to want to have a quick visit with you today. I wanted to catch you up on a few things and, and then have us a little devotional today. It's been beautiful this morning. It, it snowed again. I think the snow is over, but it really was pretty. Uh, we were talking about that this morning. And, of course, uh, obviously, I, I enjoy snow. Uh, pun intended, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we it, it's, a, it's a great day. And so I'm excited to be able to come. I'm excited about our church. We had a great weekend. Uh, man, we had an amazing day Sunday. We were able to have the Lord's Supper together, come together and have communion. And, and uh, of course, we had some, some, uh, some old songs about the blood and the cross and, and uh, kind of get back to our roots a little bit on Sunday. And it was just a great day. We had a great testimony story from one of our members, Bobby Sisk. And, and uh, just uh, we had a really good time learning, talking, remembering about Jesus and what He did for us, reflecting on, uh, on our Savior Jesus Christ. And then this week, another great week. Uh, boy, these next couple weeks are going to be pretty busy for us. It's, it's March Madness, and uh, here at the Community Church, that's more than basketball. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, exciting, hectic, busy, fun weeks, and uh, just things that I want to really remind you of. Um, starting with this weekend. This weekend, Friday and Saturday, is our place weekend. This will be our first one for the year. Uh, we're excited about it, and if you have never been to a place weekend, really want you to come Friday and Saturday. We have several people already signed up, and it's Friday night and Saturday, and they'll finish about midday Saturday. So uh, excited about that, praying about that. Sunday morning, we're going to start a new series, and this will be a four-part series on the book of Samuel, the, the life of Samuel from 1 Samuel. And this week, we're going to study about young Samuel, Samuel the young man, the little boy as God calls him and we'll see his response to God's call and, and begin to see God work through this uh, this guy Samuel so this week hope you're able to join us this Sunday a lot of things planned it's gonna be a fun day now Sunday after church this Sunday will be our soup kitchen we've done this before you probably have joined us at one of our soup kitchen luncheons after church come on out to the barn off Dutch Road and uh, it is 11600 Adamus Way in Mount Pleasant, North Carolina, on the back side of Mount Pleasant off Dutch Road. Right after church, we're going to have all kinds of soup. We'll have chicken and dumplings, which would be my personal favorite. All kind of soup and things that you'll enjoy. And this is a fundraiser for our missions trip this summer to Nicaragua. And so I, I really, we were reminded Sunday to uh, BFP, bring your big fat purse this coming Sunday to donate for our missions trip as the, the, the soup kitchen is free of course the donations will go toward our missions trip uh, as far as things coming up man exciting week next week I want to bring up a couple things about the 24th um, next next uh, Saturday the 24th one thing we're going to do is have CPR we have CPR training here at our church for our volunteers for anybody open for anybody this will be the 24th from 9 to 12 and also the 24th will be Joy Prom 2018. This is a, a prom event for special needs people from all over the country, all over the state and in this area. And so our church this year is joining with Sherry and Donnie Peel and we're helping with Joy Prom and that will be Saturday, March 24th from 5 to 9 at J.M. Robinson High School. Uh, C. Bill Nork, uh, it, he's kind of heading up our volunteers for this particular event. So just some really neat things coming up that we're excited about and I want to encourage you about those things. Now one, one other thing I wanted to mention, the last Saturday of this month, yeah, I believe March 31st, normally this is the men's prayer breakfast. Well this month we're going to open it up and it's going to be our family breakfast. Men, women, kids, grandparents, brothers, sisters, so uh, everybody can come the 31st. We'll heat here at the barn have a big breakfast for everybody and then we're going to go work at the mill. We're going to have a work day and the mill which we're going to be moving to, the move to the mill is coming up this spring and we're getting really close and so the 31st we've got some little jobs and assignments that we're going to have. So come out for breakfast 
bring your family and then go over with us for a few hours at the mill and help us with some, some tidying up and some work around the mill. So just some really neat things coming up that we're excited about and I really hope to see you guys this Sunday. Uh, we've been having so many visitors. Every Sunday we have visitors, people that are guests for us, new people that have never been to our church before. Um, and I, I love that. I appreciate that. And so I'm sure we'll have more this week. And if you have never been able to visit us in person, come visit us this Sunday. Uh, you, you're going to love our church. And uh, we're different. We're uh, a little bit eccentric probably. Uh, we have a good time. We're, we're, we're casual. We're laid back. We laugh a lot. We, we love each other. Uh, we don't do guilt at our church. Um, we, we, we just try to love everybody and encourage and, and lift up and build up the body of Christ. So hopefully this Sunday. Now, let me get into Psalm chapter 37. Here, here's, a, here's a great chapter, and we're going to look at the first nine verses. Have you ever had anybody tell you, well, just don't worry about it. You know, don't worry. You worry too much. Don't worry. And I would say to that, okay, you're right. You're right. I should not worry. But I would say to that, yeah, that's easy for you to say. You're not going through what I'm going through right now. It's easy to say, don't worry about it. Just, just pray and don't worry. We know that's right. We know that we should not worry. We know that worry is debilitating. It, it's, it's harmful to us. But it's hard not to worry. So today, I want to talk about uh, how, and, and, and I know if you're like me, you know, people say, well, don't worry. Well, okay, tell me how. Give me some ideas. Give me some help with that. How do I not worry? Psalm 37 gives us about six steps on how to win over worry. It's easy for somebody to say to me, don't worry about it. But it's hard not to worry. A worry-free life. I'm going to give you some steps from God's Word real quickly this morning about how today I think you can win over worry. Let me ask you a question. What worries you? What, what are you worried about this morning? I, I'm going to guess that there's something bothering you. I'm going to guess that something is on your mind this morning. It may be a family member. It may be a sickness. It may be a financial problem. It may be your job. It may be your boss. It may be your church. I don't know. But something is probably bothering you. And, and it may be the devil, probably. But anyway, I, I want to talk to you about some cures. How to win over worry. Psalm chapter 37. And, and the psalmist starts out with saying this, fret not. He said, don't worry. Okay, okay, good. Now, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yes, I can. Here we go. Psalm 37, verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Don't worry about other people in this world when you see things going good for, for evildoers. So how come they have a good... How come things go good for them? They don't even go to church. Well, here we go. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Now, here we go. I'm going to give you six things to help you win over worry. Verse 3, trust in the Lord. So number one, trust. And here's my question. What do you trust in today? You can win over worry by trusting in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be led, fed. Number one, trust. Number two, verse four, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Delight in the Lord. So first of all, you're going to trust. Secondly, you're going to delight. Let me ask you this. What do you delight in today? Do you delight in your favorite team? Do you delight in your boyfriend or your girlfriend? Do you delight in things that come and go? Things that are up and down? Or do you delight in the Lord because he never changes you're safe if you delight in the Lord you can win over worry if you trust in the Lord and delight in the Lord number three commit thy way into the Lord trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass what are you committed to today are you committed to your work are you committed to your family are you committed to your hobby that's okay but the question is are you committed to the Lord you can win over worry if you trust and delight and commit. Next, we see in verse 6, 
and He shall bring it forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as noonday. Here's the next thing you do. I love this. Verse 7. Rest in the Lord. Do you want to have a worry-free life? Rest. Now, don't just rest. Don't just rest. Rest in the Lord. Let me ask you a question. What are you resting in today? What do you turn to? What do you go to? What is your haven? The Lord is the place for us to rest. You may be resting in the wrong things. You may be resting in the wrong music, the wrong hobbies, the wrong treasures. Let's move on. So we're, we're trusting, we're delighting, we're committing, we're resting. And number five, we see in verse eight, cease, stop, this is, I'm, I'm telling you how to win over worry. Cease from anger. Can I just, can I help you? Calm down. Calm down. Take a deep breath. <sighs> oh, I, Pastor, I'm so worried. I'm upset. I'm fr Stop. Stop. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. What are you ceasing from today? Sometimes we stop doing the, right, the wrong things. And we, we start doing the wrong things. Stop. Slow down. This, this world is a rat race. And you get on that wheel and you get spinning and you get in a mess because you can't stop. The psalmist said, cease from anger. Don't, don't be upset. You're only hurting yourself. Calm down. And the last thing here, and we see in verse 9, For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Wait. Wait. When you don't know what to do, wait. Alright, here we go. How to win over worry. You know you're not supposed to worry. Don't worry. Well, preacher, how do I do it? Here we go. Trust in the Lord. Trust. Delight in the Lord. Commit your ways to the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Maybe you need to take a little mini vacation today. Five minutes. Ten minutes. Rest. Cease. Stop. Slow down. Clear your mind. And lastly, wait on. Don't force it. Don't push your way through. Wait on the Lord to do that. You can win over worry. When somebody says to you, just don't worry, don't get upset, because we know now some helpful hints on how we can win over worry. I'm praying for you today. I hope this will help you and encourage you, and I really would like to see you this Sunday at the Community Church at Mount Pleasant. Thank you for letting us visit with you today. God bless you.